The deep ocean floor is home to some of the strangest species on Earth, who live in amazing habitats. Consider this marine animal, which lives in hydrothermal vents that are frequently located a mile or further below the surface of the water. Welcome to USA Stories Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new updates. Now let's go to the story. In 1977, hydrothermal vents were discovered in seas close to the Galapagos Islands, making them a relatively recent discovery. Seawater shoots out of these rocky chimneys superheated by the molten rock as a result of underwater volcanoes creating fissures in the ocean bottom. Despite the fact that these settings appear to be extremely inhospitable to life, scientists have been shocked to find a variety of life forms surrounding the vents, many of which had not yet been identified by science. Clams, enormous tube worms, and shrimp species are among the recently found creatures. Most life on Earth is dependent on sunlight and its energy for survival. However, life forms that congregate around hydrothermal vents really obtain their energy and nourishment from bacteria. Furthermore, hydrogen sulfide, which is extremely toxic to the majority of other organisms, is one of the chemical components that these bacteria feed on. However, these bacteria are being used by a diverse range of sophisticated underwater life to survive. In the year 2000, one such hydrothermal vent was found deep within the Indian Ocean. This kind of vent is called a black smoker, and in 2001, the scientific research ship RV Nautilus deployed a team to investigate the site's biological forms in further detail. The Nautilus was already known for her successful explorations. In 1985, it was the ship that discovered the fabled Titanic's wreckage. The ship that discovered the vent in 2000 gave it the name Kyrae. A year later, scientists on board the Nautilus discovered an abundance of different kinds of life in the seas around the black smokers of the Kyrae field. These were barnacles, flatworms, shrimp, and crabs in shoals. Not only that, but the scientists also noticed gastropods. These animals belong to the same family as land and marine snails and slugs, but one specific sea snail in particular drew their attention more than the others due to its distinctive characteristics. The organism, which was named the scaly foot gastropod, was actually completely unknown to science. Chrysomelon squamiferum is the animal's scientific name, and the experts had never seen anything like it before. The Kairai field is home to the scaly foot gastropod, which can be found at an incredible depth of over 8,000 feet, or around 1.5 miles. However, that's not the only reason these animals are so amazing. They inhabit a habitat that would be lethal to most other animals. The waters that scaly foot gastropods live in are devoid of oxygen and contain high concentrations of harmful hydrogen sulfide. Their appearance is also rather amazing. The largest of them has a shell that stretches about two inches, while the others have shells that are, on average, more than an inch broad. This strange-looking species also has a large nose and a mouthpiece composed of a circle of muscles. Its head is adorned with two sharp tentacles in place of eyes. In contrast, the snail's foot is enormous and red, preventing it from completely retracting into its shell. Since the scaly foot gastropod is a hermaphrodite, it may reproduce without mating. The massive heart of the animal, which accounts for 4% of its total volume, is another characteristic that sets it apart. A human heart, on the other hand, makes up only 1.3% of the body's volume. The foot is one of the scaly foot gastropods' many distinctive characteristics. The slug moves about underwater by using its flattened surface as propulsion. Any snail you look at will have this distinctive foot, but the scaly foot is unique. Tiny iron sulfide plates, including pyrite, which is sometimes referred to as fool's gold due to its gilded appearance, are scattered over the borders of the foot. The gastropod's foot has further protection from these odd metallic appendages, but that protection is considerably more extensive. The iron that makes up these amazing creatures' shells. The shells of most snails are somewhat fragile, but the scaly foot possesses a shell that essentially acts as armor. The scaly foot is truly unusual due to its iron-covered shell. No other animal with an iron-rich skeleton is known to science. The shell of the scaly foot is really composed of three layers. There is a spongy intermediate layer in addition to the iron outer layer. In the meantime, the last layer is made of aragonite, a kind of calcium carbonate that resembles a regular snail's shell. 
Indeed, experts working on human body armor may find this incredible armored shell interesting. After studying the gastropod's unusual structure, researchers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, believe they may be able to exploit the snail's three-layered shell construction to make body armor that is more durable without adding weight. The snail utilizes its armor coating to defend itself from predators, particularly crabs, in its amazing underwater environment. Its special characteristics might benefit body armor as well as other items. For example, Christine Ortiz of MIT believes the technology derived from the gastropod's shell may be applied to strengthen underwater oil pipelines and helmets alike. More scaly foot gastropods were found at two other locations on the Indian Ocean floor, following the discovery of the species at the Kairay hydrothermal vents, dot the British Royal Research Ship. James Cook discovered scaly foot gastropods in 2011 at the Long Chi site, while the deep-sea submersible DSV Shinkai 6500 discovered them in the solitaire area in 2009. These findings demonstrated the extensive global spread of these scaly foot gastropods. Long Chi is around a thousand miles away from solitaire, while Solitaire is approximately 430 miles from Kairai. Despite the fact that the creatures are located at these widely apart locations, the sites themselves only make up around 0.008 square miles in total. The diversity and sheer wackiness of some of the other species discovered in the Kairai black smoker chimneys and other hydrothermal vents in the world's seas is astounding, as if this armored snail wasn't strange enough it's true that there's a persistent impression that the species present at these hydrothermal vents could be extraterrestrial in appearance. One particularly odd example was discovered in the 12, 500-foot deep Pescadero Basin in the California Gulf, which is home to the deepest Pacific Ocean vents that science has yet discovered. Packed together in unusual clusters, a large number of weird tube worms wave unsettlingly in the stream. While visiting hydrothermal vents close to the Galapagos Islands in 2005, the research ship Nautilus discovered a specimen of the incredibly bizarre flashy squid worm. Toitha dorvilia is a kind of annelid worm that was first found in 2007. Its eight waving arms are really respiratory organs. Researchers continue to discover strange creatures that were previously unidentified to science while investigating the hydrothermal vents located in the deep ocean. The peculiar iron shell of the scaly foot gastropod is only one of many strange creatures from the deep. Scientists aim to learn more about the evolution of life on Earth and maybe beyond through ongoing research. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos. If you enjoyed the tale, the next video that plays on your screen will probably move you too.